What's up, superstars? It's Matt here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something that's not really common, and that's a white knockout effect for DTF. We've seen it in a black knockout to make the shirt feel much lighter, but it could also be done with white. So, that's what we're gonna be tackling today. First, let's talk about the design. We generated this from Mid Journey AI. It's an angry albino gorilla, and we added some extra prompts to really make our color pop. With an image like this, you can really print the whole image, but by knocking out the white in the design, we'll be able to use the white from the t-shirt fabric and make a really cool and breathable print. Not only that, but we're also going big with this print. It's a 13.5 by 15, so it's big and would also feel heavy. The challenging part of this white knockout is actually the gradient effects. We wanna preserve as much as the bright colored lines and fades because that's really what gives this image its pop. So let's dive right into our tutorial. And, and as an added bonus, we're gonna be giving this sample shirt to a random viewer. So watch till the end for details. Hi, my name is John and I'm a graphic designer for Transfer Superstars. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a white knockout effect paired with a halftone. Let's get started. The first step is to create a copy of the original layer. This copy will serve as a backup in case we need it later on. In case of any mistakes, it's always preferable to work non-destructively. This backup layer will allow us to do just that. Let's hide it for now. Now let's navigate to the image. You can adjust the image size right here. Ensure that the resolution of our artwork is set to 300. Let's resize this. We won't need it any bigger than 20 inches. However, we'll still resize it later. For now, let's set it to 20 inches and press OK. The next step is to make a copy of this layer. Right click and select Duplicate Layer. Choose New in the destination, then click OK. You'll now see a brand new document. Here, we'll need to create a solid color. Let's create a new layer for the background. Use the brush tool to make this layer white as we're aiming for a white knockout effect and the background of the image we have here is already white. That's why I filled this one. You can also easily do that by pressing Shift F5 and selecting the color. It'll still be the same. I just wanna show you how to get it done in the most basic way. The next step is to select this layer and change its layer style to difference. Now it's going to look like this. Next, let's merge both of these layers by selecting them while holding down Control and then clicking on them. After that, choose Merge Layers. Now let's convert it to grayscale. Here we can adjust the level so that everything that is black will be removed. All these white areas are the ones that will stay, so we need to make a precise selection here. I'm going to make a selection that still preserves a lot of the details. Let's try this one. Looks pretty solid. Now let's go to Bitmap. Flatten layers, set the screen, and press OK. Frequency is 35 and the angle is 22. Shape to round, then press OK. Now the white area should be removed. Let's check by creating a mask layer here. Press Alt and click, then it'll turn white, indicating you are now in the layer mask. Next, on this document, press Ctrl A to select everything. This layer may appear locked, but you can still copy it by pressing Ctrl A, then Ctrl C. As you can see, there's a broken line area indicating it's selected. Now let's paste it here by pressing Ctrl V. Now it's here. Click on the visibility icon. It should now look like this. Let's try putting it on a solid layer to see what it looks like. It's supposed to be a lighter color. Yeah, it looks like this. Or we can put it in white. It looks good, I'm very satisfied with it, but I'm just going to make a separate copy and redo the process again just to try out if I can make a different selection. That will preserve most of the white difference and then we'll convert it to grayscale. Let's start with adjusting the curves first. Let's try this one. You see this area? This gradient right here has been half-toned. Let's see if it transfers very well. It is not transferred over. Let's check it out. Yeah, a lot more details have been kept in the second one, but I don't really like this gradient area right here. Let's try to see how it would print by saving it. Of course, let's turn off the background before saving. Save it as a PDF. 
We are back guys. Thanks for watching that tutorial and bookmark it if you guys missed anything or you guys just want to revisit later, okay? So let's see how perfect this design comes out. We're going to be using a BTSA blank and uh, we're going to put that link down below just in case you guys wanted to check them out too as well. Uh, BTSA is a minority owned company and is located in California. That's also where their shirts are made from. This model number of shirt that we're using is an SHJ006. It's a premium heavyweight jersey tee and is about 11 ounces. So pretty heavy tee. I right? actually thought it was a sweatshirt. <laughs> the shirt comes in an extra small all the way to 3XL. It is an oversized fit and pre-shrunk. So if you want a more fitted shirt, I would recommend going a size down. What is really special about this company is that they actually offer a dyeing service. They have a sustainable dyeing service, and what is nice is that you can also choose the Pantone code that you want. And if you think about streetwear, this will also allow you to customize your tee accordingly. I'll drop a link down below with the BTSA contact. As far as also ordering custom fabric blanks, is a three easy step process. It's first selecting your Pantone code, you're selecting your style number, and then submitting your purchase order. After that, you'll receive your custom dyed blanks in two weeks or less. Thanks again for sending us the blanks. And for our heat press, we're gonna be using our Heatmaster Prisma. You guys already know about our Heatmaster Prisma. You do want to get one yourself. We do have one on our website. We're gonna put a link down below as well. Next note, we're gonna have our graphic, big size and everything perfect for our Heatmaster Prisma. Actually, almost perfect size. Definitely wouldn't fit on a 15 by 15. So we had to go up to it. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, we're first gonna open up our shirt here. This is a heavyweight shirt, so <laughs> it's going to feel what your sweater feels like. That's really nice. I like it. So what we're going to do first is going to properly align this onto the shirt. So there you guys have it, superstars. That's how you guys do a white knockout effect while preserving the glow effect with half tones. I hope this tutorial was also very helpful. Don't forget to bookmark it for future references. We hope this also levels up your DTF game. And now it's time for me to sign off. But before I go, I do want to let you guys know we thank you all for watching. We love your support and it means the world to us. If you haven't already, please give this video a like and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this.